So, Mr. Olson, let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? Well, you know, I kind of wondered what you called me in here for anyway, Colombo. I have a few questions regarding the disappearance of Katie Olson, alias Selma Swartz. Hey, you know, listen, I'm a busy man. All I know about that gal, she took it on the lamb when she found out she was going to be discovered. I had nothing to do with that. That might be the case, but isn't it true that you learned that she was a fraud approximately two weeks after she disappeared? Listen, I don't have any more time for this foolishness. When Katie disappeared, you were going to inherit on Ella's farm because you were with the closest relative? Well, yeah, that's true, but... So, that means that you had the most to gain if Katie was out of the picture. Now, now just hold on to cotton pick a minute. This... In fact, I have an eyewitness testimony that you threatened to get the farm back from her on several occasions. Listen, it's no secret that I wanted my father's farm back in my family. But if you're accusing me of bumping off this Selma character just to get the farm back, you're barking up the wrong tree. Hey, just calm down now. It's my job to ask the hard questions to get to the truth and also hopefully find out where this missing woman is. Well, good luck with that, Barney. But on another matter, I need you to swear out an arrest warrant for my brother Daniel and his unknown female accomplice. Now, John, I just can't go around arresting someone on your say-so. Well, what did your brother allegedly do? Well, he tried to defraud Minnie out of her mother's rightful inheritance with the help of some woman in a veil. And how did he allegedly do that? Well, when I was in a coma over in Sweet Swine Hospital there, Daniel forged Minnie's name on a document that gave up her rights to her mother's multi-million dollar fortune. Now let me get this straight. You were in a coma. Mm -hmm. So if you were in a coma, how did you know Daniel committed forgery? Well, my idiot brother took the papers to my bank to have them notarized. If Daniel went to the bank, they would have had to witness his signature in order to notarize it. That's where our mysterious accomplice, the woman in the veil, she comes in with him. Daniel comes into my bank to have him notarized and he's got this woman in a veil, and she's just wailing up a storm. Finally, Mary Ann Chapel just decided she would go ahead and notarize it. And you have all this on tape and have recorded it? You bet you I do. Melvin, we have to get an APB out on Mr. Daniel Boligard Lee ASAP. All points bulletin ASAP. Will Cousin John remain a suspect in Selma Schwartz's disappearance? And will Officer Gabriel and his crack team of police officers track down and apprehend Daniel Boulegard Lee and bring him to justice? Find out next time on As the Court Grows!